Katie and welcome back to From My Vanity. Today's video is a viewer requested video. Um, if I have saved the screenshot, I'll go ahead and stick it over here or somewhere. Um, but basically, uh, I had someone ask if I could do more of my glam looks and like my, I guess my more... I guess it's not so everyday, but really blown out and smoked out looks, but using more neutral colors because I tend to use a lot of more bright colors. And she said that, you know, she doesn't have a lot of those bright colors, but she does do neutrals and would like to do more glam looks using neutrals. So I was like, you know what? Sure, I can do that. I got some errands to do today. I have been testing out this um, Mellow Cosmetics Sinopia palette. I think that's how it's pronounced, but uh, it has a lot of neutrals in it and I need to test it out. And I wanted to do one more look with it before I kind of set it aside and have my final thoughts. I've been playing with it for three or four looks, four looks I think. It's been a lot of fun, but anyway, I figured this was full of a lot of really staple neutrals, so that's what I figured we could do today. And yeah, this is a little bit of a different type of video for me. I'm trying to do some pre-filming, so I have some content to go up at the beginning of January. So yeah, if that sounds interesting at all to you, let's just go ahead and zoom in and get right into it. All right, I did already prime with my Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer and then my um, makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, before I started the video. So I just tapped out any of the little creases that happen if I uh, don't put eyeshadow on quickly after applying the concealer. And okay, so this is what the palette looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this blush tone here. It's uh, not the lightest in the palette, but I'm gonna use it just to just start warming up my crease. I'm only taking a teensy bit on this uh, E38 brush, diffuser brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to put it right above my crease. Now, keep in mind, like, you know, when I do these tutorials, I pretty much use the same techniques and I just swap out colors, but I always use a, the techniques that work for my eye shape. So just keep in, uh, keep that in mind. Um, I've had a couple of people ask, like, oh, I try to do it like you, but it doesn't turn out. And I, my recommendation would be, you know, go find a YouTuber who does okay, tutorials you with your eye try. shape. So this is just what I found that works for me in my eye shape. And uh, you can use the same kind of colors, but just keep that, yeah. you know, techniques might be a little different depending <laughs> on so what your eye shape is like and how much room you have to work with. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this uh, E27 brush. It's kinda like the E35, but a little bit smaller. I'm gonna start with this brush. I might change to this brush. These are both Sigma. But anyway, I'm going to go into Sinopia, and I'm gonna place it right here into the crease. And I like to do this because I feel like it gives a lot of definition. It kind of give, helps with that ombre of intensity when I do a half cut crease. I just feel like it looks really nice. So that's why I like it. And I like to keep a small brush just so that it doesn't get too crazy and then cover that blush shade I've already applied because I'm only wanting this intensity and darkness in the crease to help my half cut crease, which you guys know I love to do, help that pop. And I'm coming in pretty far. I'm pretty much sticking it, like because of my eye shape and whatnot, I've learned to just stick it right into that fold when I have my eyes open and stick it in there. And I try to keep my eyes tilt, my head tilted so that I don't get any weird lines because you can get that if you're trying to blend with your eyes open. It'll just catch and skip. Now I'm going to go with that E25 brush. I'm just going to tap okay. it into to blush, which is what we used initially, and I'm just going to help blend that. Probably could have just used that round fluffy brush that we already used, this one, which I can go ahead and do that. That would have done the job well, but I do love these type of more pinched, precise brushes. I feel like they help blend without mudding the color together, if that makes sense. Right here, I feel like it's not as blended, so I'm just going back in. I just go back and forth until I like the blend that I see. Okay, now moving on to my favorite type of brush, the L210 brush from Stilazzi. I'm going to pick up that Merlot shade right here, and we're packing it onto my outer corner. And when I say packing, I just mean packing. It's very easy. I just pack it. Um, I tend to pack it just on my lid because I have, I don't want to go too far into the crease and get it too muddy. So I'm just packing it onto my lid. And then I go about, so where my eye is, I kind of stop on the outer corner and blend it towards the middle. I, but I try not to go farther than the center of my eye, if that makes sense. And so yeah, I'm using those packing motions just okay, on yeah, my I... lid. And then once I have it packed down how I like it, I... I... now I take whatever's left on my brush and I just oh, start to blend that 
very gently, like I'm barely touching, I'm not pushing on my eye, I'm just very lightly blend that into the crease and then along the edges here. And like I said, try not to go past in the center of my eyelid. Going back into that little E27 brush with that Sinopia shade that we put in like directly into the crease, I'm just going to blend out where those two shades now meet. Just so there's no harsh lines. And I think you can kind of see, but I like to bring my deepest color and kind of blend it farther at the bottom and then go kind of shorter at the top and that kind of helps with my cut crease because that's how I like my shimmery shade to be. I like it to be longer up here and then just kind of blend away and kind of get to the center of my eye if that makes sense. Okay so now is when I like to cut my crease and honestly with a neutral look like this I would just go in with a glitter glue. Okay I went and did this side a little bit because we were talking but um so uh, if I'm doing something super like a bold, very vibrant color, I'll probably go in with more of a concealer and then tap some glitter glue on top if I need glitter glue help. But the concealer or white base kind of helps the colors pop. But since this is a neutral look, I feel like I just need a bit of, of uh, this glitter glue to help keep everything in place and kind of cut it out and help the shimmer really stick adhere and pop. And I don't really need the help of a concealer base as well, but you can use either or. I just always like using glitter glue to help keep, once I get the cut crease, I don't really like when the, the shimmer transfers up into my crease because I've kind of taken all the time to make it really nice and sharp. You gotta and then, um, and then if it starts to, you know, transfer up and muddy up that cut crease halfway through the day, it's just kind of frustrating for me personally. All right, so that's what I do, and then I like to take my finger, especially if I have concealer, but I tap out the edges, just so there's no like line of where the glitter glue or the concealer ends, and it helps the the blend. I feel like go up, you know, blend a lot better. Okay, now I'm going in with that champagne shade, and I'm taking this. I didn't even tell you F70 brush. I really like this for a very flat brush. It's a face brush, a concealer brush, but. I like it for my eyes. And then now I'm just placing that down and using tapping, packing motions. I didn't really say, but for the cut crease, um, if you have slightly hooded eyes, you can put the concealer on your lid and then do the look up trick. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of success with that. But for me, when I do that, it doesn't work. Like I can't get anything to transfer. That's just, at least on this side. Sometimes I can get this eye to transfer a little bit. So anyway, it doesn't work for me like it does for most people. So I just kind of follow the line that I figured out works for my eye, eye look and my eye shape. Okay, and as you can see, I kind of stopped just short of the center. <laughs> um, one thing I really like to do, and I feel like kind of gives a little more drama and a little more intensity to your eye looks, is that I like to use two types of shimmers. Once again, kind of close in color, but two on my lid to really just give more of that drama and glam. So I went with this all over my lid. Now I want to go with, let's see, I think I'm going to go with Birch. Yeah, so I like to go with a color that's also shimmery, but more so close to my crease color, but still lighter. Let me check out cinnamon just to see the difference. Okay, so this is cinnamon and this is birch. I'm going to go with birch because it has more of that mauve. But anyway, I like to go with that. I'm just using the same brush. I kind of cleaned it off. And um, I like to stick that on the rest of the half of the cut crease, kind of basically on the center of my lid. Okay, I'm supposed to be showing you on this side because it's easier for you all to see. But anyway, I put it on the center and then I very carefully just blend a little bit this way and a little bit that way. And I feel like it helps the darker color kind of mesh and not have such a stark line and contrast where the light and the dark meet basically. And then just using those two different shades on the lid, I feel like just kind of gives a lot of interest to it. So kind of like that. And then once there's not a whole lot on this part, I try not to go too overboard because I don't want to mesh it and just make a muddy mess. So I'm very carefully just blending the two shimmers together so there's no harsh line and it looks really blended. Okay, so then at this point, I just kind of go back and forth until I like it. And for the two colors, I'm just kind of switching my brush back and forth. I don't mind if, you know, they kind of get a little meshed and whatnot because I'm wanting to mesh the two colors together on my lid anyway. Okay, so at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to take 
this, I need something a little more pointed. I like this brush, um, the Smashbox All Over Shadow Brush, a little big, but I'm gonna go into Pecan, yeah, Pecan, which is this white shade. Just take a little on the tip of my brush. I think that was in frame, and I'm just gonna use it to, first I tap it on where I want the, it to be most. Yeah, you can put some on. Um, so like right here, I like my brow bone to be bright and then I kind of just blend downward to help blend that blush shade, that first shade that we did. And just make sure, I like doing this to try to make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm gonna go off camera and do my wings and stuff like that. I kind of almost want to take the outer corner darker, but I don't know. I have dust in here, which is a brown, but I feel like it's not that much deeper than this um, Merlot, right? Yeah, Merlot that we use, so. I think I'll just leave it, but I, um, if I was doing this look with a different palette that had a deeper red or a deeper, like a black, I probably put a touch of black on there and just, um, blend it into that Merlot just to get more intensity. Cause I wouldn't mind it being a more, a little bit more intense on the outer corners. But yeah, this is what we got so far. I'm going to do wings and stuff off camera and then I'll finish out on the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, this brush. It is a Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. It's just a little domed brush. And we're gonna go into Merlot and I'm going to stamp that right on my lower lash line, right against that black. And I'm going, I tend to like to take the darkest shade I used in my outer corner and put that right against my lash line about halfway is what I tend to do. Like I said, I tried to do more stamping than sweeping so I can really get that intensity right there. Okay, and then now going in with a little pencil brush. This is the E30. <sighs> Didn't mean to use all Sigma today. But anyway, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go, I was gonna go into Sinopia, but I'm gonna go into blush. I really like that shade. So that is the lightest shade we used in the crease. Um, I don't think I said, but I'm tapping off my brush every time before I go in. It's honestly a habit at this point, but I'm also trying to prevent fallout because I already have my face done. But anyway, now I'm taking it all the way from my inner corner and I'm blending that and just trying to use this to not only fill in the color, but then soften that darkest color there. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to take my mascara. There we go. Okay, so, and then I forgot, inner corner highlight. I always take a really tiny brush. I just feel like it works so much better. This is, uh, the Shader Lid E56 brush from Sigma. I'm taking that champagne shade. Um, honestly, since I use this on the lid, typically I would go in with just my highlight color, which I guess I could do that, just to make something a little bit different. I'll go ahead and top it. No real reason to do this. Um, you can honestly, like I just did, do your inner corner with that same lid shade, but I don't know, I just like to have a different type of popping inner corner that's a little more intense than whatever I have on my lid. So since I went in with my light is already on my lid, I'm just gonna go in with what I used on my face today and just add a little on top. And it's the CoverGirl Pearl, it's a True Blend Super Stunner and Pearl Crusher. I'm just applying that and then using this brush to blend out the edges. But yeah, that's about it. This is what I do. So let me go ahead and just put on my lipstick. I think I'm just going to go, I want to use one of these today. I'm just going to go with this one because it, it's just a nude. It's the SPFRX Radiant Lip Ultra Rich Lip Plumping Lipstick in Simply There. And then we'll close out this video. All right, so I did not use that lipstick because it looked way too nude. I used this Wonder Beauty Lip Setter in the shade On The Moth on my lips instead, and I feel like that definitely completes and goes with this look a lot better. But yeah, this is the completed look. Here are some close-ups so you guys can see. This is pretty neutral for me, but honestly, it's definitely something I would wear if I'm, I don't know, going out amongst people that I know, going to the church service, just doing more quote unquote normal things. Um, it's still glam, so it's still, I feel like it's me, but it's not like, you know, neon green or <laughs> vibrant yellow and whatnot, just because in my personal life, personally, um, I'm the only one who goes this crazy with their makeup, so I like to tone it down a bit when I'm wanting to feel normal. But anyway, yeah, I really like this look. It's definitely me, it's definitely glam. Personally, the only thing missing for me is just a little bit more sparkle and intensity on the cut crease. So I plan to record some more videos later today, and when I do that, I will either, um, what one thing I do to very easy glam up a look is I either take a liquid glitter liner, like, 
any one of these. Uh, Urban Decay has heavy metals. And then, um, where is the one? I'm missing it. NYX has one, a Glitter Goals glitter liner. And I will trace out the half cut crease and I feel like it adds so much sparkle. I love doing that mostly if I have an all matte look to add some sparkle. Um, and then the other thing I like to do, which I probably will do later today, I don't know, you'll have to go see the videos I posted up with this look because they'll already be live by the time this goes up. But anyway, I'll take a glitter, a liquid glitter shadow. My favorite is Stila, but NYX Glitter Goals has one and I will just apply that over the lightest part of my cut crease and just kind of redo my half cut crease and tap it out in the outer corner to help blend the glitter with the matte and I feel like that takes it from you know how we are now really glam but just takes it up a notch and just kind of gives me that glam little extra bit of glam and uh, pizzazz that I like when I sit down to film I just kind of like doing something a little bit extra a little bit more fun but anyway yeah this is the completed look I hope you guys found it informative helpful I tried to kind of give more tips and tricks uh, than I typically do in my tutorials and I tried to go super duper neutral so let me know what you guys think but yeah this is the mellow Sinopia palette Sinopia watch me mispronounce that all throughout this video but anyway um I have no like I said I have no idea when this video is going live if there is a review on this uh, palette I can leave it linked up above here but spoiler alert I'm very pleased with this palette and I can't wait to share my final thoughts in a video but yeah hopefully this will go up sometime in mid-January before I'm back to filming like usual you know after the baby comes and whatnot but anyway I just wanted to go ahead and sit down and do this video since it was requested and I felt like it was something I could fit in to my schedule right now as we are coming up on a baby arriving but yeah that is gonna do it for this video thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.